How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of new brewery time in the form of new image brewing. It is their single hop Simcoe New England style pale ale called Single by Choice. Uh, yeah, never heard of this brewery before. This comes courtesy of my boys. I'll bring a little card out here. We have both Drew and Dean. They are from the West Vale Liquor Mart. Um, they sent me off a box of non wrap unwrapped beers and then some mystery beers. So it's the first one I'm going to be diving in from these guys. Um, like I said, this is a little kind of hazy pale ale coming in at 5% alcohol by volume. It's part of their Nebulous series, A Taste of the Unclear. So yeah, new glass. It's Christmas. I got some new glassware. I got even smaller little rounded bubble glasses. So even more people went and asked me where I got these suckers from. So we'll see how these pour i will probably spill a ton of beer that's probably what's going to happen see i like the little bigger glass it's it sits up a little bit higher you guys can see it but you can still see what's going on in that glass so i'm not too worried about it what do we have going on there i mean look at that yeah nice soft haze to her definitely looks like a hazy pail um three quarters pinky finger tight compact have a little bit of soapy edges on it but it's got that soft vibrant yellow in color um as far as the can goes it reminds me of somebody else's can I don't know if it's like a free will can, the crackle, maybe. Is that what I'm thinking of? Maybe that just popped in my head right this instant. It reminds me of a can. Not exactly the same, but the same kind of format and coloration. It really does remind me of another can. So, not a bad can. It is what it is. So, I'll give that a whirl. Ooh, it's been that pretty good. Let's get a nose. I mean, it, it smells more like a Belgian pale. Uh, like an Allagash pail than anything else. I mean, you're getting nice hot presence off of it, but it's um, it's kind of like a, a slightly piney, citrusy brightness. Nothing's heavy here. Nothing's too brutal to the face. But there's a yeast ester in there. It's not banana. It's not bubblegum, but it's in that kind of slightly almost Cezanne-like kind of yeastiness where it comes off slightly spicy. Yeah, it smells really good. A little bit of soft greeniness and a little crackery malt. It smells super chuggable. We're going to dive into the sucker. Cheers. It drinks exactly like it smells. That citrus, that soft citrus, um, does get a little bit sweeter in the taste, so it's not exactly verbatim what you're getting on the nose, but it's there. Um, you get this nice soft citrus, a little bit of pineapple in there too, a little bit of grapefruit, but definitely in that kind of semi-sweet side of things, not overly bittering, um, overly pithy or anything like that. There's a little bit of soft, in the grand scheme of things, pretty nondescript, kind of bittering. Um, if anything, it's gonna come off that slightly piney, slightly resinous, but in the most infantile way possible, very, very tiny. It's got a nice soft dryness to it. It adds that little soft season spiciness in the malt, or the actual yeast, sorry about that. I could drink like 850 of these. Jesus Christ. Yeah, probably my biggest complaint about this is 5%. I want this at three and a half. That's, that's, you know, this is, this is up there with some of the better low ABV pails that I've had the only thing, and I'm, I'm not trying to soapbox on the low ABV thing, but this is the exact same beer. It's not the exact same beer, but it's very, really close to a lot of beers that I've really dug this year. More specifically, the ones I've had from Allagash, your tiny house, those kind of beers, River Trip, not as spicy as those beers on the hop end of things, but the way that softness comes off, the way that yeast profile comes off, and the way the drinkability comes off, it's one of those super low ABV crushers. I have no qualms with it being 5%, and a perfect world would be lower than that, but in the grand scheme of things, this is super crushable, super tasty, hop forward without getting too bitterly aggressive pale ale. Delicious. Let's talk about it. Is it one of the better low ABV pails I've had as of late? It's 5% less or less. Without a doubt. Absolutely. Mountain Rushmore says, love this beer to no end. Want to drink it all. Want this to come in 30 racks. And I want it undraft in my house. Um, value and availability, no idea. Maybe the guys out there and the old Vale... I forget the name of the liquor mart right now. Um, uh, could a Westvale, was it? Uh, could let us know what's what when it comes to price availability or anybody out there in a the Colorado region can let us know and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like crushable pale ales, man. I mean, this is absolutely delicious. If you like the Allagash low ABVs, the Bissell low ABVs, those low ABV versions of beer, you will definitely dig this one. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a super crushable pale right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.